up guys it's Dr. Ranked here welcome to today's tutorial and this is going to be a music command tutorial so this is great for upcoming minecraft adventure mappers or just general use in your minecraft creative worlds or in a survival world if you guys have access to command blocks through uh, creative mode um but yeah hopefully you enjoy like and subscribe if you guys are new and hopefully you enjoy so let's get to it right, for this section you guys are going to want to do dash music and then play if you guys are wanting to play a song if you want to cue it you can do Q, and then obviously we'll go through the other ones in a second but we do for this one we're going to do the record of a side uh, i will list the for all the music ids that i can find in the description for you guys so you guys can have one easy quick place to access all of them and you can do, add in the seconds that you want it to fade if you want and you can have it whether you say it play once or loop um, and then you can have it repeat either once or on loop. If you do set it to loop at the end of the command, once you've done the fade seconds and float, um, the uh, repeat mode, um, you will have to re-log if you want it to be disabled. And you must make sure that each individual player presses it if they want to use it. Um, so yeah, let's just not do that for the sake of this. So we're going to do, we're going to pick the play other side and you should hear it in a second. As you guys can hear, you guys can hear the other side being played by Lana Rain. There you go, you can hear that. Now let's get on to how you guys do the dash stop. Oh my god. Okay, so now we're going to do the dash stop. So we're going to do dash music stop. And you can adjust the volume too. Um, and you just do that and then it stops. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to do music cue, you just do dash music cue. Um, you just do dash music cue. Here, you just do cue. And you can set the um, volume maximum to be one in game. And you can also use sound files as well. Um, I'm not going to go into that because I don't play on other platforms. Um, I'm mainly a console bedrock player. Um, but you can access sound files if you want to do that for this as well. Um, if you want me to do a tutorial on that, I can try and get that sorted for you guys. Just let me know in the comments. Um, but you guys can do, you can do Q and then the track name, which I would say do one of the IDs in the description. And then you do string, which is your volume flow and then your sound flow. So you pick your fade seconds and repeat mode. It's basically like the other one. You just pick your sound and everything um, for your music. And then you do the Q. And then if you want to adjust the volume, you do dash music volume. And then you do the amount, which will be of one. So you can do dash music volume one. I'm just going to do one for the sake of this because it is the maximum you can do. You can just do one, um, which is kind of silly, to be honest. Um, let, I'll just show you guys just to prove it. You can only do up to one. Um, but yeah, you can just do up to one. So yeah, we can just do one. <laughs> But yeah, um, and then there's a bunch of other commands I know you guys can find out about. Um, it, it, you can just find out about the arguments about the commands, and I'll link it all down in the description. So it's really easy for you guys to get access to, as well as the music IDs that I have access to and I know work. Um, if you guys have any others, definitely leave them in the comments and help everyone out. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this really quick little simple little music command. Hopefully you guys did. If you did, let me know down in the comment section below by hitting the like button and subscribing. Let me know what you guys want to see the next big t command tutorial be on and I'll get to work on it as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and enjoy the video. Hopefully this helps you and bye. <laughs>